Welcome back to Inside South Florida. So as we know, February is American Heart Month, a time to focus on our cardiovascular health, no matter how old we are. Dr. Alan Niederman is an interventional cardiologist with Broward Health Physicians Group and is here to give us advice. Hello, doctor. Happy to have you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Let's just talk right into the nitty gritty. Tell us about heart disease, how common it is, because we hear a lot of misconceptions and just really people who don't really know much about their heart health. Well, unfortunately, it's quite common. Um, we lose roughly 700,000 people a year to uh, heart disease and stroke. So it is by far the leading cause of death in the United States. The issue that we have found and what we're working on now uh, through the uh, guidance and the auspices of the Broward County Commission under the direction of uh, the project is under the direction of Commissioner Mark Bogan. Uh, they decided that we were going to try and do cardiac screening on people who were asymptomatic but had risk factors. The test that we're doing now is the future of cardiology. And, and uh, you know, one of the things that I didn't get to mention is that Broward County is the first place in the United States that's doing this. That is incredible. So you guys are the first? The first to do asymptomatic people. Every place in the country is doing symptomatic people with chest discomfort. It's the asymptomatic people that we're looking for. And the asymptomatic people have this kind of disease. There's uh, colon screening with, uh, you know, uh, colonoscopies for colon cancer. There certainly is mammography and breast cancer screening. Uh, but there is no screening test for cardiac disease, even though it is the leading cause of death in the United States. So. What we've done, what they did was give us $10 million to do screening tests on people who are asymptomatic and have risk factors. The goal is to put it on the ballot in, in November this year to add a 0.25% sales tax to allow everyone to have cardiac screening and cancer screening uh, in Broward County. These are just for Broward County residents. We normally go off of things that we see, right? Like I'm not feeling well, my arm hurts, my leg hurts, my heart hurts, you know, something. Uh, but with this, uh, you do a coronary artery score and you'd be surprised on what you see and you feel nothing. So for folks at home who aren't really sure on what this is, can you just describe to us briefly what exactly is a coronary heart disease? Well, in the coronary artery scores measure the amount of hard calcific plaque that someone has in their arteries. The technology now allows us to determine both hard and soft plaque. Um, and in a couple of seconds, uh, we can get the data. And then 20 minutes later, we have an answer as to what your what we should do about the fact that you have coronary disease. And if you don't, you don't have to worry about it, depending upon your other issues. When you say all of that stuff, I'm just thinking, would people feel this in advance? If somebody has a heart issue like that, are there symptoms? What should people look out for? It's not really a question of symptoms in the sense that we're trying to isolate a group of people who are at risk. So who do you really recommend uh, to do these tests? Who can participate in this stuff? The people have risk factors. Those risk factors are hypertension, diabetes, uh, high, high lipids, and your family history. Uh, the more risk factors you have, the more likely you're gonna have some amount of disease. So where can folks go to really learn more about you guys and these tests? Where can they learn more? Well, the site is takeparttest.com. If they go to that site, though there you have to answer a number of questions and very small it's three or four questions uh and then it it drops down and they will get called and get scheduled to do uh the test uh, in one of the next available slots we have unfortunately a limitation to the amount of people that we can do per week but you will get a uh, appointment at one point and you show up and it takes the whole thing takes about an hour because you have to get some pre-medication and, and that kind of thing but it, the test yeah. itself is quite quite quick 
Yeah, well, a quick test to get some results that can make you hopefully live for much longer. Doctor, thank you so much for your time and all of these helpful tips. I know it's going to help a lot of people. Thank you. Thank you.